Hello everyone, I'm Shanas from Manage Engine and in this video we are going to be talking about the Klopp ransomware. The Klopp ransomware has been one of the most prolific ransomware families in the past three years. It is known for compromising high profile organizations and it is also known for its multi-level extortion techniques that resulted in huge ransomware payouts that are estimated at about 500 million US dollars. Now Klopp ransomware was created by a Russian threat group that was termed TA505 by the MITRE attack framework and this notorious threat group also created CLOP ransomware as a service so that other adversaries could use the CLOP ransomware to infiltrate other networks. So how exactly does the CLOP ransomware work? Now CLOP ransomware encrypts files in other organizations and it's going to demand a ransom in return for decrypting all the files. For initial access, the CLOP threat actors predominantly rely on spear phishing emails and campaigns that they use based on affiliate networks. So they launch spear phishing campaigns in other organizations and when a user clicks on this malicious link or an attachment that is targeted to them, a macro gets executed within the network and then a payload gets downloaded. So I want you to understand that the CLOP ransomware payload also contains a range of malware that gets downloaded when the CLOP ransomware payload gets downloaded within a network. And one such malware is the flawed AME remote access trojan that is responsible for collecting information within an organization and communicating that with a command and control server. Another one such remote access trojan is the SD bot which is responsible for propagating the attack in peer-to-peer -peer networks and this SD bot is also responsible for having backdoor entries for attackers in any organization. Now for lateral movement and defense evasion, the CLOP ransomware is going to scan the entire network and once it spots any critical machine or any critical resource such as an active directory, it's going to prioritize hacking into that specific resource. So once they hack into an active directory by exploiting the service message block or the SMB vulnerability, what happens is that they then proceed to exfiltrate data from within the network. And for this exfiltration, they rely on due mode malware, which is also something that gets downloaded along with the CLOP ransomware payload. Now once they exfiltrate the data, they do not stop with that. Here's where they go ahead to encrypt all the files present within the organization and they demand a ransom in return for decrypting the files. Now if you look at the CLOP ransomware exploitation, what happens here is a range of malware downloads, a range of process executions. So if you have a holistic security solution in place, such as a SIM solution, you will be able to monitor such activities. You will be able to monitor macros execution, process downloads and other payload downloads within any specific organization and you could combat and prevent threats such as ransomwares and malwares including the CLOP ransomware. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>